Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our leg strength. Straight away I am going to start with the greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side. Make sure you make the dynamic stretching part of your routine even if you prefer doing a small bit of cardio before starting your workouts to get your heartbeat up. Dynamic stretching ensures that your muscles, your joints, your ligaments are properly ready or primed up for the workouts which you are going to do. I really like the greatest stretch because it's like a compound dynamic stretch, stretches most of our muscles throughout our body in one fluidic movement. So I prefer to do this but otherwise you may do multiple types of dynamic stretches which are very easy to learn. Post completing my greatest stretch, I move on to my mandatory deep squat. Regardless of what muscle I am working on, I make sure I sit in a deep squat for at least a minute or few seconds every day to ensure that mobility, especially our hips, our inner thighs, our calf muscles and our ankle mobility is good to go. Post completing my deep squat, today I made sure I also added a bit of hip openers because I have taken a little bit of break in between my workouts because I got the flu and I wasn't feeling quite well so I took a break for at least one week so that I could completely recover because it doesn't make sense working out when you're not feeling quite well especially with a blocked nose so I'm just making sure I'm properly ready for my leg workout by stretching my hips by making sure I feel my glutes engage because those are the prime muscles which we are going to work a lot more on during our leg days because squats we are usually quad dominant we don't need to work a lot to make sure that they fire up hamstrings glutes hips these are the muscles which are often not firing up properly and causing us challenges during our workouts so we have to make sure that we prime them up as much as possible before our leg day. Post completing my hip stretches, I moved on to my first exercise wherein I started with reverse lunges or the Smith machine. As you can see, a pretty simple setup. Now for the first set, I have done 20 repetitions. Second and third set, I have done 10 repetitions with an increase of weight. And the last set, I, have, I went for eight repetitions with again an increase of weight. Now this particular exercise is quite demanding both cardiovascularly and also with the muscle strength you will be hitting fatigue very quickly now you shouldn't be taking a break while switching in between each leg from left to right or right to left but you may take a break in between each set up to 60 seconds because again as i mentioned it is quite demanding please make sure the load is primarily staying just above your heels at all times or the bar path is just above your heels and you are not using the leg which is not working a lot to get yourself up high as you can see how i keep my leg behind always in a floating manner i only land it when i'm just about to completely squat down an excellent way to start our leg day because it's quite demanding at the same time you have a lot of support when you do it on a smith machine because the bar path remains same so you don't need not worry much about the bar control in terms of your core stability or like in a dumbbell wherein again you need a lot of core stability to control it so this makes the job a little bit easier so please do challenge yourself by pushing on higher amounts of weight you can also start with a very minimal weight like i did just with 10 kilos and then slowly build up 5 5 kilos each side as you prefer to do so really demanding on your cardiovascular stamina so make sure you breathe properly keep breathing continuously and that's one of the reasons why i don't like to work out when i have a blocked nose because i tend to leave reps because i'm not able to breathe properly post completing my reverse lunges i moved on to rdls now i've done three sets of these with 10 repetitions with a 45 seconds break in between now make sure you push your glutes as far behind as possible so that the bar moves slowly down just staying above your ankle in contact with your body and once down while coming up you want to squeeze your glutes and push or basically hump forward 
so that you get straight up the feet position have to be a little bit wide with an open stance your toes should be facing out like you can see here so that we are focusing a little bit more on the hamstrings because we our hamstrings go out and inwards behind our leg so we try to focus all of them so make sure you place your feet a little bit in an open stance and then perform your reps because we are going to work on the close stance on the machine later in the workout make sure you push your glutes you keep your core engaged so that your spine doesn't lose its neutral form the glutes have to be the focus when you want to come up you squeeze your glutes as strongly as possible to get straight back up you don't want your lower back to be loaded so focus on the glutes why going down just go down enough use straps because straps makes you lift heavier without compromising your reputations as your grip strength is not able to support you so using straps and gloves lets you achieve your reputations with a high amount of weight easily post completing those i moved on to a superset wherein i have done leg extensions and also narrow squats with my heels raised so i have done 20 repetitions of leg extensions and immediately shifted myself onto a heel raised stance with a narrow stance and started doing squats now while doing those you may choose to hold on to a dumbbell and challenge yourself much more i just went with my body weight because i still want to recover completely and then challenge myself by now my nose started running again i was having a little bit of trouble in terms of breathing properly so i just used my body weight to perform the squats as you can see i just placed the plate in front of the leg extension machine itself so that i don't have to move much of a distance with my heels on the plate i started squatting in a narrow stance putting more pressure on my quads now if you're someone like me who are extremely quad dominant you would feel your quads fatigue in the first set itself so you need not worry about weight otherwise we still have another two sets to go make sure you get your 20 repetitions of leg extensions before you switch to the heel raised squats our last exercise for the day is hamstring curls we are going to do three sets of these 15 repetitions each set with 45 to 60 seconds break again now while doing these i want you to keep your toes touching now your stance is basically a closed stance wherein you point your toes towards each other and keep them in contact slightly touching so we, now we are working the different part of the hamstrings wherein in our rdls our stance was open so we're completing the entire we're hitting the, all the strands of our hamstring and that's it in terms of our exercise we are going to close off by doing static stretching which we always do and i always recommend that we have to cool down our muscles we have to stretch them back to their neutral length not literally but just take it as a saying so a simple quad stretch what i'm performing here is using the smith machine placing my ankle on the smith machine which is just about my glute just the height is just near the glutes so i can get maximum amount of quad stretch after that just raise the bar up place your ankles high up again and start doing your hamstring stretches make sure you hold for 15 seconds to 15 to 20 seconds anything more than that is not necessary anything less than that is not really effective for your static stretches and that's it for today thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback in the comment section is very well appreciated i hope you had a great workout i will see you in the next video have a good day or a good evening see you thank you